Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, C4FM uh, Weekly Net. This is Across Canada Net. Uh, this net meets every Wednesday evening at 2100 Eastern, 100 UTC. Uh, the net is a result of a roundtable conversation between three hands, one in BC, one in Ontario, and one in New Brunswick, who want to bring Canadians together from coast to coast and those abroad so that we could create new friendship, share ideas, and some technical information. This is Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. My name is Dennis. I'm located in Ottawa, and I will be your net control station for this evening. It's good to be back. Uh, this net is conducted in both digital and analog um, uh, modes, and it's linked through various uh, repeaters and nodes across the uh, WiresX network via room 40678, giving licensed amateurs from across Canada and around the world the chance to participate. This is a directed net, so all traffic and questions shall be uh, directed through me. Uh, before taking regular check-ins, I'd like to announce, uh, well, we'll talk about tonight's topic, uh, Canada Day. It's coming up real soon. Some of us are going to be in a heat wave. Some of us are going to be in a little bit of a cool weather pattern, but I think most of eastern Canada is in a heat wave. And uh, so I'm wondering, how are you celebrating? Are you celebrating Canada Day? What's up? What are you doing? Um, how do you uh, like to uh, spend the day? And uh, so we'll chat about that. And, uh, of course, uh, our American friends can uh, talk about the 4th of July if, uh, if we have any on board. And I'm sure we'll have a few uh, in the next little bit. Uh, so before we take regular check-ins, I always like to ask for any stations that are portable, uh, mobile, or otherwise can't stay for the, other, the entire net. Please call now. Well, it's good to know that everybody's sticking around. So let's uh, open up as we always do, and uh, we'll start in eastern Canada, the Atlantic provinces. Anyone wishing to check in, please call now. Anyone in Atlantic Canada wishing to check in, this is Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot, with the uh, uh, with the uh, Cross Canada C4 FM Weekly Net. The E1 Zulu X-ray. The A1 Victor Carroll. The E1 Lima Victor. All right, let's hold it there. Good evening, Brad. VE1 uh, Zulu X-ray, VA1 VC. Good evening, Don, and good evening, Hal. VE1 LV. Anyone else in Atlantic Canada wishing to check in? This is VE3BF with the net. VE1 Charlie Hotel Lima. And very good evening to Scott. All right, let's go to the top of that list and say good evening to Brad. It's been such a long time since I've been on C4 FM here. It's uh, it's good to be back, and I was hoping, I was wondering there at the beginning if I was uh, logged in properly. <laughs> Come on aboard, Brad. Yeah, very good evening, uh, Dennis. Good, uh, good to hear you on there. Uh, I guess you're enjoying the uh, the nice weather like everybody else is. And again in the day, yeah, there's going to be quite a crowd around here. Uh, got some grandkids, uh Got some nephews and nieces, so uh, got some fireworks to set off, so it's going to be a, a pretty good Canada Day this weekend. Thanks, uh, Dennis, for checking me in. Uh, have a good evening. Uh, V3 Bravo Foxtrot from V1 Zulu X ray here in Two Island Parsville. All right, very good, Brad. Well, so it's good that uh, you're getting together with family. Actually, uh, we've got a little bit of a special celebration every Canada Day. Uh, my wife's birthday is on Canada Day, so that always makes it even a little bit better, a little, a little bit more special. We have birthday cake and uh, and uh, birthday decorations, and uh, we try to to uh, I try to get um, Canada Day birthday type decorations up uh, throughout the uh, the house or or at the uh, at the RV if we're there. But this year we're going to spend it here. Good evening, uh, Don V A One V C. How are you this evening? Well, very good evening to you, Dennis, and good evening to everyone across Canada. Oh, uh, warm weather always makes me feel a little better. Uh, the old bones don't ache so much, but uh, anyway, I just stepped outside to take the dog out for a minute. It's very, like you said, uh, they've got heat warnings and everything for the weekend, but it's pretty warm out there right now. I could hear the frogs out there, or the beepers, whatever you call them, they're just going on, so... And so many times uh, the month of June here uh, it was so bloody cold that uh, you just figured summer would not ever come. But uh, starting to get the feel of it now, and uh, I hope everything goes on. Now, I don't celebrate uh, Canada Day anymore when the family was all around. Of course, you know what happens to us older folks. Uh, we lose our families, and uh, 
of time and stuff, so and people move away. So, but I watch TV and I gather whatever's going on TV there uh, to see and everything. Uh, but I was asked a question here the other day, uh, and I don't know if it's just around here or right across Canada. Something about uh, what was it? Uh, that uh, they want people to uh, stand by their two-meter radios and uh, and give calls and answer calls on Canada Day on Simplex on two-meter. But I don't know if that's all across Canada or just here locally, but I said I'd try to stand by because I was asked to and uh, to make contact. So I don't know if it's a contest or just saying hello to hams that's probably not talking all that much. So we'll see how it goes for Canada Day. And I guess that's it, Dennis, and I hope you're well and everybody else across Canada, and uh, and we'll get ready now for uh, summertime, I guess, and uh, all the good things it brings. Uh, and I guess that's it. Thanks for calling me in, Dennis. Oh, very good, Don. I hadn't heard that about uh, Simplex uh, VHF, um, but that sounds like an awfully neat idea. Uh, maybe if somebody else uh, has uh, somebody on board has a... Um, uh, some info on that that'd be very cool to uh, find out about and uh, maybe we can share that uh, and uh, like I said get get share that information uh, very good evening Al I uh, heard you in there chatting with Brad a little bit earlier and uh, I was just uh, getting some paperwork done here trying to get another video uploaded it's my uh, third one here today so uh, a little bit of a, uh, a free for all on YouTube hi hi uh, VE1LV V3BF the three BF. This is the E one LV, and uh, good evening uh, to everyone across Canada. And I only saw the the video on the twenty meter vertical, so uh, I'm missing uh, one somewhere, Dennis. And it's been a nice day here today, and uh, we are supposed to be in uh, warm and humid weather coming on the weekend, so. I don't care for the humidity. Anyway, we'll most likely go and uh, look for the eagles. Uh, George X. Ray Papa told me about a location at low tide where the eagles go fishing, and uh, I think we'll uh, try and look that place up. Also, tomorrow is a full moon, and uh, those of you that are not aware of it, the Bay of Fundy is like a funnel. And we are at the narrow end of the funnel. And when the tide comes in, it has nowhere to go but up. So we get what they call a tidal bore here in Truro. And uh, with the full moon, uh, the water is higher, the tides are higher. So uh, I think I'll take in uh, the, uh, the tidal bore tomorrow and uh, see how high it is. Sometimes it's not uh, very spectacular, but it should be good tomorrow with the full moon. And that's it from here, Dennis, VE3BF. This is VE1LV. Oh, very good, Hal. That sounds like fun. Uh, I remember uh, watching the title bore on the, um, uh, was it the Petty Kodiak River through Moncton. It wasn't the most exciting thing after they built all the weirs and the stuff, but, uh, that's still kind of an interesting thing to see, and I'm sure that with the high tides on the Bay of Fundy, that must be uh, an awful lot of fun to watch. Anyway, yeah, the new videos are uh, coming up. I'm just uh, uploading as we speak, so uh, I'll send you a link to them as soon as I have everything done, Hal. Uh, VE1CHL, good evening, Scott. How are you tonight? VE3BF, VE1CHL, good evening, Dennis, and uh, good evening to everyone that's uh, listening. And uh, nice to hear that some folks got some plans there for, uh, for Sunday. And I guess we've got some plans for uh, Sunday also. I'm glad he's uh, sister. We're going to celebrate her uh, birthday, I guess, on Sunday. And uh, son and daughter-in-law are bringing the grandson up, so we'll have a nice little barbecue on the uh, on the back deck. And might even take into some of the festivities uh, that's in town uh, later on, possibly. Other than that, that's about it from here, Dennis. VE3BF, VE1CHL. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Always good to be together with family, and uh, if uh, it's not too warm and you can enjoy the outdoors, that's uh, all the better. Fantastic stuff. 
That uh, brings me to the bottom of my list, so let's see if there's anyone else in the Atlantic provinces. We'll also open it up to the province of Quebec. Anyone wishing to check in, uh, please call now. Victor Ecoutou, Yankee Uniform, Delta. Victor Ecoutou, Alpha Zulu, Quebec. Well, two brand new calls for me. Very good evening, um, Alpha uh, Victor Echo 2, um, Yankee Uniform Delta, Bonsoir, and Victor Echo 2, Alpha Zulu, Quebec, Bonsoir. Uh, Victor Echo 2, Yankee Uniform Delta, come on aboard, and could I get your name and location, please? Greetings to you, Dennis. Here is Victor Echo 2, Yankee Uniform Delta, from the city of Quebec. 73 to all shortwave listeners and ham operators. So my name is uh, Christopher, and uh, it's a pleasure to talk with you. It's, uh, I try to make some uh, some effort to speak English. I hope it's it's good enough. So uh, here is uh, Victor Echo 2 Yankee Uniform Delta. Très bien, Christopher. Ton anglais est uh, fantastique. Pas de problème du tout. Merci de nous avoir uh, rejoints ce soir. C'est toujours un plaisir d'entendre la ville de Québec. Uh, Victor uh, Echo 2, Alpha Zulu, Québec. Uh, bonsoir. Uh, come on aboard. Victor Echo 2, uh, Bravo Foxtrot. This is Victor Echo 2, Alpha Zulu, Québec. Uh, well, uh, hello, Denis. Uh, this is Gino from uh, Quebec City. Uh, I want to thank you to... Uh, to do the the uh, animation and uh, <laughs> as uh, my colleague said uh, Christopher uh, my English is also uh, a bit uh, so-so but uh, we uh, we try a lot and I want to say hello to all the folks uh, the Canadian folks who uh, who uh, do the amateur radio hobby and uh, say hello to all the guys uh, from Canada so uh, uh, nice to uh, to meet you, Dennis, and uh, we'll do that again. Uh, Victor Echo 2, Bravo Foxtrot, this is Victor Echo 2, Alpha Zulu, Quebec. Très bien, Gino, merci de nous avoir rejoints ce soir. Uh, C'est toujours un plaisir d'entendre uh, les gens de, de, de la province de Québec, surtout la ville de Québec, uh, parce que je sais qu'il y a plusieurs personnes qui ont peur, peut-être, ou pas peur, mais ils ont, ils ont un petit peu, peut-être un petit peu de misère à parler en français, en anglais. Donc, euh, on essaie d'être euh, bilingue ici. Donc, euh, merci pour nous avoir rejoint. Uh, just uh, saying to Gino that thank you for joining us this evening. It's always a pleasure to hear folks in uh, the city of Quebec. And uh, uh, fantastic English uh, spoken by both. So, um, is there anyone else in Quebec? Uh, Est-ce qu'il y en a d'autres personnes au de la province de Québec qui voudraient rejoindre le net? Victor Alpha 2, Yankee Lima, bra Bravo, low on battery. Well, we won't make you wait. Come on in. Yeah, well, my handheld is almost empty on my SP2DR. There is only one slice of battery. So, I'll get the, uh, the chance to, to say hi to everybody. First time on uh, Fusion uh, Nets, and, well, I'll stay on, on the side until my battery dies. All right, very good. Uh, well, welcome to Fusion. Welcome to the net. Uh, pleasure to hear you. And before your battery dies, can I get your uh, your name and uh, QTH for the luck? All right. Well, my name is Mark. Mike I'm from Charlie, and I'm from Saint Jerome, about to, well, 40 kilometers north of Montreal. Fantastic, Mark. Well, welcome to the net, and uh, please uh, join us again uh, when you have a, a stronger battery. And I hope you'll be able to uh, listen along here for a little bit longer. It's a pleasure to hear you, sir, and uh, welcome to Fusion. Um, this is Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. You're listening to the um, Cross Canada C4 FM net. And we're looking for check-ins. We'll open it up a little bit more. Let's see if there's anyone in eastern Ontario, uh, Quebec, or the Atlantic provinces. Please call now. This is Victor Echo 3 November Alpha Barry. Victor Echo 3, Kilo Alpha Echo, it's uh, Alan and Kempo. My pen can't go fast, my pen can't go fast enough here. <laughs> Very good evening to uh, James, uh, VA3JPX, uh, Barry, VE3N8, and Alan, uh, VE3KAE. Did I miss anyone? I guess not. Uh, good evening, James, VA3JPX. Come on aboard. 
Well, very good, James. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, thank you for recording that. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm sure many people do. I don't know if you have any statistics on how many people are downloading it or uh, uh, accessing it after, but that would be interesting to find out. Um, anyway, very, very cool. Thanks for doing that. And again, for those of you who are new, um, we do have a Facebook page, and uh, it's very easy to find. Uh, just type in uh, C4FM Weekly Net or Canada C4FM Net or Canada Digital Net or Canada C4FM Net, and you'll find us there. Uh, we ask that you give us your call sign so we can bring you in as it is a private group. And uh, there's all kinds of information, uh, little stuff like uh, YouTube's uh, uh, videos and uh, podcasts uh, for you to take a peek at and uh, all kinds of other information, news, and uh, what's going on in, in the fusion stuff. So check it out. Come and join us. It's uh, We'd love to have you aboard. Good evening, Barry. Uh, how are you this evening? VE3NA, come on aboard. Yeah, thanks, Dennis, and very good evening to all on board tonight. Uh, boy, that's good to hear. We've got uh, three on board in in Quebec, and Christopher, Gino, and Mark, your English is absolutely impeccable. I wish I could speak French a fraction as good as you guys do speak English. Don't worry about your English at all. It came through perfectly. Uh, so what's going on? Well, um, we had a fabulous uh, field day with the club, uh, probably the smoothest setup that we've had ever. And we had a lot, mind you, the key was we had lots of volunteers. And uh, it was otherwise a good field day, lots of points, lots of contacts, and all that kind of stuff. However, when I got home, my wife was doing some laundry, and the discharge hose uh, popped out of the laundry tub. The laundry room in, in our house is right above my shack. And there's two floor drain, there are two... Uh, uh, floor heating vents in the laundry room and the water went down there dripped down all over my computers all over fortunately it missed my KX3 uh, destroyed my scanner uh, what a mess there was a problem uh, just you know you get home from field day you're beat I wanted to sit down and relax but the cleanup just started however uh the, luckily, uh, the computer survived. You know, I always leave the lid open on my laptop. For some reason or other, when I went to field day, I, I closed the lid. I have no idea why I did that. It just happened, and it saved that laptop. And, of course, the shape of my Mac, uh, the water just kind of rolled off the roof, and that was that. I'll just recycle here. Now, uh, as for uh, Canada Day, well, this Friday, our son is coming home for a... Uh, almost a month visit. He's uh, working in Melbourne right now. He's been down there for a few years, but he's decided to make a trip home. So I'm picking him up at the airport on Friday, and then uh, my wife's mother is coming from uh, Edmonton to visit us for an extended period of time. So we'll all be together on uh, Canada Day so that we, we probably won't go out, but uh, uh, it'll probably be just a, kind of a mini family reunion here at the house, and uh, we're kind of looking forward to that. Anyhow, that's it for this go-around, Dennis. We're glad to uh, hear you back, and if I think of something uh, else to say, I'll chime in at the end. Uh, as always, I'll be here at the bitter end, and we'll turn it back to the net. VE3BF and the group, this is VE3NA, Barry, out in Greeley. All right, very good, Barry. And, uh, wow, man, that sounds like, uh, well, it, it sounds like it wasn't as bad as it could have been. So I'm glad that your ham radio gear uh, survived, and... Uh, and your computer for sure, and uh, that does not sound like a fun mess to clean up after a long day of field day. But uh, hopefully everything is uh, uh, back to uh, snuff now. And uh, uh, again, I'm sorry to hear that uh, that you had uh, some damage, but uh, I've been there. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm afraid I've been there. Anyway, uh, good to have you. Good to hear you. To good to have, good to have you aboard, and good to hear you this evening, Barry. Now uh, let's go to Alan in Kempville, Ontario, VE3KAE. Come on aboard, and how are you this evening? Well, good evening, Dennis. Uh, welcome back. And uh, good evening to everyone else um, that's checked in this evening on the net. And uh, nice to hear uh, the check-ins from uh, Quebec side. Great to hear you guys. Um, yes, well, uh, I guess I uh, wish happy end of day to everyone uh, a little bit early, but... Uh, 
um, seems appropriate tonight. It's too bad uh, what happened to Barry here. What a shame. Uh, that has happened to me. I know the feeling, but it, the water didn't get on my radio equipment, so uh, I, I'm not sure I totally feel your pain, Barry. That's terrible. Um, we had a great field day on the weekend. Um, the uh, the club put on quite the show. It was it was great. Good food and uh, everyone pitched in, so enjoyed it immensely. And uh, let's see what else. Um, well, I finally have my vertical antenna for HF operational, and uh, I uh, tried it tonight for the first time. And uh, my first call, I connected with uh, the brothers net on. 71, 92 kilohertz, and had a great chat. And as luck would have it, it was Canadian night, and the net was being run by VE3 UII. Uh, Steve, uh, taught him, Tottenham, Ontario, I guess, north of Toronto. So uh, it was pretty enjoyable, and it was nice to know that uh, my radio actually gets out and my antenna's working after the work I put into it. And uh, let's see, uh, that'd be it for me. I'll uh, continue to do some more on HF. Uh, V3BF, this is V3KAE, Alan and Kempfell, uh, back to you, Dennis. All right, very good, Alan. Thanks very much. Uh, glad you uh, were able to get on HF. Congratulations on that. That's always, uh, well, it's always a big step, and uh, it's an awful lot of fun, I'll tell you. That's, uh, <laughs> well, all of ham radio is addictive, but I'm I'm really addicted to HF. Uh, this weekend, well, the last two weeks, uh you know, I do listen to uh, VE3 SDP repeater while I'm up at the trailer. I can actually get into that repeater with uh, with my handy talkie, but uh, there's not a whole lot of traffic on it, and uh, so I listen to HF. And uh, this week I was having a blast with six meters. I'll tell you, it was just uh, it was just a hopping. So uh, yeah, good to hear you, sir, and uh, good uh, good good doing there on getting your HF uh, vertical up in the air. That brings me to the bottom of my list. Actually, it's not really because I saw uh, N1CDN's uh, call sign uh, flash through, so let's bring him right in, in right away. Uh, good evening, Steve. Yeah, good evening, Dennis, and all on the net. Uh, this is Victor Echo 9 Oscar Oscar. The radio station I'm transmitting on is N1CDN. I think that's legal. And, uh, uh, yeah, I just tuned in. Uh, missed the beginning of the net. I would have checked in early in and out. I don't have any traffic for the net. Uh, but Canada Day, I'm glad it came up because I know uh, the RIC always has a contest and I always like to participate, not as a contestant, but as a participant. And uh, that's usually how I contest. I, I'm not trying to win the contest, I'm trying to help someone else win it. So uh, that'll be it for me. Labor Day weekend, I'll be in Moncton and uh, spending some time up there with family. So, uh, uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to meeting some of the local hams again. Uh, there have been a few people that I've met over the years, the VG9WW in particular. I'm hoping to bump into him again. And, uh, uh not a whole lot to, to add on. It's getting late down here. It's, well, it's getting late by my standards. It's not everybody considers it late, but for me, I'm usually, uh, in bed around now, if not just a few minutes later. I'm not a, a really late person. But I wanted to check in and uh, say good evening. And uh, oh yes, I also want to brag that earlier this evening, uh, probably about three hours ago, I was wearing a genuine uh, World Series New York Yankees championship ring from the year 2000, when the Yankees beat the Mets and took the World Series. And uh, Dennis, I believe I tagged you in those pictures when I posted them on Facebook. Um, driving Uber now, uh, just to try to pick up some extra money. Things are a little tight down here these days. And this guy uh, that got in the car had that ring on, and I had to ask him. I said, "Sir, I'm curious about your ring." And we had a great conversation. Uh, he was not a player; he was the lawyer for the team and worked in the office. Uh, but Mr. Steinbrenner was not Mr. Steinbrenner to him. He was George, and uh, the man has five of those rings, uh, which he finds on sharing with his uh, children as they graduate from school. So with that, that's a great story. I had a lot of fun today. I met some awesome people. Uh, back to Net Control, 7-3, and good night. I won't be back for the second go-around. N1C, the N uh, Portable, West Central Florida. All right, very good, Steve. And uh, we had one other step. Thanks for being with us, and uh, 
I guess you're looking forward there to your, uh, that's a great spring story, by the way, and I guess you're looking forward to your trip to New Brunswick. So thanks for being with us. Uh, there was somebody else in there, uh, but I didn't catch the call sign on the digital side. So uh, come on aboard. Maybe I'm hearing things. All right, let's uh, open it up for the rest of Ontario. Anyone uh, in Ontario or east, uh, please call now. Victor Alpha 3, Tango Golf November, Jimmy and Windsor. Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Victor Hotel, uh, Brian Curley and Maidstone. Good evening. All right, uh, we've got uh, Victor Alpha 3, TGM, and Victor Alpha 3, BVH. Anyone else in Ontario or east? 33 Papa Victor. Mike, Mike, Hotel, Mobile. All right, I got Rick, VE3PV. Good evening. And I've got, I think that was Mark, uh, VE2MMH, uh, Mobile. Uh, since we'll, Mark, your mobile will take you in first. Come on aboard, sir. Uh, Net Control, uh, this is Victor Echo 2, Mike, Mike, Hotel, Mobile. Uh, and uh, uh, thanks a lot for uh, just uh, slipping in there. I appreciate it for everybody on frequency, 73 to everybody. Uh, yeah, just checking in again on the way uh, on the route to work, uh, listening to the net. Um, I, I just, I guess I imagine the um, the conversation was about Canada Day activities. That'll be uh, having family and friends over for the weekend, enjoying the pool and thereabouts, and other activities uh, related to that. And that's about it. Uh, and I'll uh, pass it back to Net Control. And uh, again, wish everybody a good 73. Uh, Net Control, Victor Echo 2, Mike, Michael Del Mobile. Over. All right, very good, Mark. Thanks very much for checking in this evening. Always good to hear you, sir. And uh, you have yourself a, a good evening at work, if that's a possibility. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. But uh, thanks for uh, making the effort. Sounding good tonight. No picket fencing. No, uh, you're not in a tunnel, so everything's good. Uh, good to hear you. Uh, good evening, Tim. VA3 TGM. How are things in Windsor? Is it getting warm there yet? Yeah, good evening there, uh and that's everybody on frequency. Uh, up the uh, next few days, we're going to be up uh, up to 93, 94, 97 by Sunday. It's going to be very, very hot in Windsor. And, that, and definitely, uh, I like to work through points with the rock contest. And sometimes there's a parade, a candidate parade uh, in Windsor there. So uh, thanks for being there. I keep slipping off so much. The mic there. All right, and thank you for being there. Nice to hear you back in on Fusion. Uh, back to you. This BA3 TG in, in Windsor. All right, very good, Tim. You uh, stay cool this week. That these are warm temperatures we're going to get. Uh, they're no fun, actually. We uh, we came home from the cottage uh, because. Uh, um, it's just no fun being, even being at the cottage, uh, we'll stay in the house. We've got uh, a lot more room here in air conditioning that we can uh, do some stuff. We'll play some radio and uh, enjoy uh, um, a little bit of uh, Canada Day celebrations and birthday celebrations. So uh, thanks for being with us and have a great evening. Uh, good evening, Brian, VA3, BVH. Uh, come on aboard. Yeah, good evening, uh, Net Control, uh, Dennis, and uh, good evening, 7-3 is all the way around. Uh, VA3 BVH, uh, currently portable in Maidstone, uh, making the big trip all the way to the roof, and uh, hopefully you hear me just fine. Uh, field day was a great success with our club. I operated the 20-meter uh, phone uh, station, and it went great. Um, our Prime Minister is actually coming to our uh, Brian, I don't know if you finished talking, if uh, you're hearing me, but uh, we were hearing you loud and clear right up until you said the words Prime Minister. And then um, you uh, dropped out, so I'm wondering if you're uh, getting close to the range, out of range from your repeater, but uh, we'll give you another try here, see if we can pick you up. Roger that, net control. Uh, we're back on the five watts, uh, five watts. But uh, I was just saying about the uh, prime minister. He's coming to our town uh, on Canada Day, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I won't be around to see it though. I have stuff to do during the day. So <laughs> uh, back to you, there, Dennis. Uh, hopefully, you read me on five watts. Uh, VA three BVH portable. Back to you. Yeah, very good, Brian. We copied every word there, loud and clear. That's uh, one of those things about digital. You're either in or you're out. And when you're in, you're 100%. And 
Anyway, perfect, uh, perfect copy that time. Thanks for being with us, and uh, you have yourself a wonderful evening. Uh, good evening, Rick. Uh, we haven't spoken in quite a while. I hope things are well. VE3PV, come on aboard, VE3BF. Yes, good evening, uh, Dennis, everybody else on the Cross Canada Net, and uh, Brian and Tim. Well, uh, I heard the question was about Canada Day, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. I'm sure we'll we'll be seeing family members and also uh, giving out points in the uh, Canada Day contest there on all the bands. So, uh, Dennis, uh, yeah. Uh, Rick, you dropped out on us there. Are you still with us? Uh, we heard you up to the point where you were saying you were going to give out some Canada Day points. Over. All right. Well, Rick, I hope you're hearing me. Uh, thanks for being with us this evening, and uh, you have yourself a great Canada Day, sir. Uh, good to hear you on board there for uh, for the first part. Uh, anyone else in Ontario before we uh, start going a little further west? Uh, Ontario or east? Uh, please call now. Ready three I can. A uh, very good evening, Don. V E three I G N. Uh, how are you this evening? Hey, Dan, it's not too bad. Yourself? Taking it easy. I guess we're getting all ramped up for this nice heat wave that's coming upon us. A little bit of Cuban weather, they say that Cuban air is moving up to our part of the world. It's very hot and humid. What they say, humid X forty five, kissing off fifty maybe. Who knows? We'll set some records. But you know what? We're not complaining. Considering the uh, the winter weather we had like months ago, uh, Canada Day, you say? Well, I'll probably uh, try a contest, see how that all works. But more so, just taking it easy, relaxing, maybe uh, play a little bit more radio. Uh, 73 all, and we'll turn it back to net control. V3 Bravo Fox in the Canada White Net. V3 IGN, back to net control. 73 all. All right, very good, Don. Well, now have some fun with the uh, RAC contest for sure. I definitely hope to make a few contacts. I'm, uh, I'm always, uh, I'm like uh, Steve said earlier. I, uh, I go into these contests to help people win, but uh, I also like to hunt down the RAC stations. And uh, there's a few that are missing, uh, especially on the. Uh, well, there's two that are missing on the 20 meter band. So we'll go and hunt for those and see how uh, how I make out. Uh, that brings me to the bottom of my list. So let's open it up to the western provinces. Uh, anyone in Alberta or, sorry, in uh, Manitoba or Saskatchewan or east of that wishing to check in, please call now. Not seeing them on my screen, but just thought maybe they'd be bordering stations. Anyone in, um, I know there's some Alberta stations out there, or at least uh, I see some V6 call signs. Anyone in Alberta wishing to check in, please call now. V3 Papa Victor, recheck. Uh, go ahead, Rick. Uh, yeah, I guess you've got a fresh battery there or a reboot, one of the two. No, I think there's a problem with the network because, uh, like you said, Brian was dropping out, and I heard him uh, solid all the way through on his first transmission. And then uh, he said I was dropping out, and he also had uh, Thierry trying to check in from Windsor. 3-3 Tango, my golf. Uh, go ahead, Dennis. All right, very good, uh, Rick. Well, thank you for that, and uh, we'll bring Terry in. Do you have anything else for the net, sir? And uh, see if you can hear Terry. And, uh, 73 v 3 pb All right, very much. Thanks very much, uh, Rick. Appreciate that. And uh, Terry, sorry we missed you, but uh, come on aboard. V3TMG. Good evening, uh, Dennis. and everybody on frequency? Uh, yeah, I don't know somebody, apparently. Um, Canada Day, yeah, I'll probably give a few points away in the contest. I do every year. I never, ever send any results in, but, uh, we just, uh, give points away. And, uh, don't know what we're doing for Canada Day. Might head out to Leamington. I might get to the parade here in Windsor. Uh, uh, we're deciding, the wife and I, what we're going to do. Uh, for All right, very good, Terry. Well, maybe we are having a little bit of network problems tonight. Maybe there's some latency or something, but uh, we got most of that. Uh, Thanks for checking in with us. I'm glad we were able to bring you aboard, sir. And uh, if you uh, if you're out to the parties, uh, enjoy and uh, and uh, have a good time. That's what it's all about. Great stuff. Uh, We'll make another call to Alberta. Anyone in Alberta wishing to check in, please call now. Victor Alpha 6, Delta with Steve Oxtrot, uh, Stephen in Calgary. Oh, very good evening, Stephen. I guess you're all alone in Alberta tonight. Hi, hi. 
Uh, good to hear you. VE6DWF, come on aboard. Yeah, very good. Um, yeah, uh, probably everybody's busy with summer stuff, I'm imagining. Um, for um, field day, I actually didn't do field day. I did uh, volunteering for the MS bike uh, that ran for, um, uh, I think it was close to uh, 200 kilometer uh, there and back over two days. So that was neat because my first volunteer ham experience and had lots of fun. And I was amazed, actually, at uh, how capable uh, a ham crew is in providing communication. Um, it was quite, kind of shocking to see. Um, other than that, uh, keeping busy with, uh, you know, uh, other stuff and, and work and whatnot and just been really busy lately. So uh, I'm glad to be here monitoring and uh, I guess that's all for now. So v VA6 CWF uh, back to V3 for all the Fox All right, very good, uh, Stephen. Thanks very much for uh, joining in with us this evening. It's good to hear you, sir. And I uh, corrected my log here. Sorry I gave you an E instead of an A. Apologies uh, uh, out to you, sir. Anyone uh, wishing to check in from the province of British Columbia, please call now. Uh, I'm not going to make you wait, Ted. Uh, very good evening, and uh, you're a little bit weak into the system there, but come on aboard. Uh, thank you. This is the ZLP at the end of Canada, the southwest corner. If I go any further, I end up at the States, a maritime mobile aboard a ship called the Grand Canyon Bridge. So I'm doing something different tonight. I'm going through somebody else's repeater. I took my HRI 200 box, wires X box, and I hooked it up to my FT991, and I'm feeding it through the Delta British Columbia, the Delta Amateur c 4 FM repeater, coming to you on VHF there, instead of my repeater on UHF. So we're still quite far away from the repeater. So I'll keep it short right there, Dennis. This is BG7 Lima Echo. Well, that's what the spirit of amateur radio is all about, Ted. Wonderful job. We copied every word. Thanks for being with us this evening, and uh, it's always good to hear you, sir. Um, let me see here. I'm just going through my list. Um, I haven't heard from Toronto yet, and uh, I see that uh, we've got uh, Trinidad and Tobago online. Uh, so let's see if anyone uh, wishing to check in from Trinidad and Tobago this evening. Junior, are you there? All right. Well, picking up some call signs flashing across the screen here. So I'll say uh, good evening to Mike, VE7AM, and I'll say good evening to Jack, VE7GDE. Anyone else in uh, British Columbia wishing to check in? Well, let's see what's going on in the Okanagan Valley. Good evening, Mike, VE7AM. Come on aboard. Okay, well, good evening to you, uh, Dennis and Lynette. Uh, I guess there's some funky things going on in the network, but anyhow, uh, you're coming in well right now. Um, it was a nice day here, a little overcast uh, in, uh, in Vernon and North Okanagan, but quite nice, uh, all things considered. We've uh, had rain the past uh, uh, week or so, and... Um, it's slowly clearing up, and uh, the weather is picking up. Mind you, it was hot here. But we're expecting temperatures in the order of anywhere between uh, 22 to 24 degrees here, which is quite comfortable. Apart from that, nothing special. Maybe dabble in the RAC contest uh, on uh, on Saturday or Friday night, whatever. And uh, that's the only contest, really, I, I enjoy uh, participating in for many, many years. So that's it, Sir Dennis. Uh, the 7 a.m. Vernon, D.C., go ahead. Uh, very good, Mike. Well, we'll play around uh, a little bit on the contest. Um, not a whole lot. It's my wife's birthday, so I spend the day with her, and I think we're going to go out and do a few things, uh, maybe go out and catch a movie and uh, uh, go for a nice meal in a restaurant, uh, do a few things there just to make her day special. So... Uh, have fun in the contest, and uh, if I don't hear you on the contest, uh, uh, well, uh, good luck, and uh, uh, maybe we will make a contact, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll each get some special points for another multiplier province. Uh, Jack, good evening, sir. VE7GDE, come on aboard. 
Uh, VE3, Bravo Fox from the group VE7 GD. Uh, yeah, for Canada Day, I think my wife and I will be operating uh, the Canada Day out the club with the club call, which is VE7 November Alpha. Uh, so I think there's going to be a bunch of club members coming out for that, and I believe that's the Saturday on the Sunday. And Monday, I'm going to climb a local mountain here, if, if I, my body will hold out, and do a summit on the air. And that'll be for a 3,400 foot mountain, which is a thousand meters, behind the, the city of Nanaimo here on the island. And it has not been activated yet. So there's about six of us going to go and do that on Monday. So that'll be an interesting experience. So that'll be my Canada Day, other than getting together a little bit with friends and family and uh, having three days off, which will be very nice. Uh, back to you, Dennis. And thank you for taking the net. You always do it. Well, Jack, uh, no, I, I, it's me that thanks you for doing it for the last couple of weeks, and uh, you know I will be, uh, I'll, I'll be asking again shortly, but uh, I'm not sure what my schedule is for next week yet. Well, that will, uh, it depends on uh, what the postman brings me. I'm waiting for some stuff here, so if it shows up before, uh, I may take off to the cottage, and if it doesn't, then I'll stick around, but I'll keep you posted. Uh, the summit on the air at 3,400 feet sounds like fun. Uh, certainly a little bit higher than the uh, uh, the summit that I was at uh, yesterday, but uh, I went and uh, did a little bit of a, a jaunt there up to uh, the city of Foymount, or the town of Foymount, Ontario. Actually, I don't even know if it's a town. It's probably I don't even know if it qualifies as a village anymore. Uh, more more a ghost town than anything else. But uh, anyway, the highest. Uh, the highest populated uh, peak in Ontario, Jack, at uh, 1,600 feet. So, uh, you know, we, we've got our mountains, too. And uh, uh, there was no snow, though. Or, uh, back to you, Jack. Well, thanks for that, Dennis. I don't think there'll be any snow on this one. Uh, we are forecasting uh, rain the next three days. I think it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And by uh, Monday, it's supposed to be sun and clouds, so that'll be a nice day to climb a, a mountain. I've gone up to this mountain before, but that was years ago, and uh, they changed something in the province of B.C. I don't know in Ontario, but here in B.C., uh, the forest companies, they they now, uh, by practice, decommission the logging roads when they're finished, so it's made it very difficult to get into the backcountry, and they put gates on everything. I don't know if that's happening in Ontario, but it makes it very difficult to get to Crown Land, so now we have to hike all the way up, so that's something I haven't done before, so it'll be... Uh, a good adventure. I definitely will take some pictures and post them later. So uh, uh, I hope you have a very good Canada Day, you and Betty, and uh, fine business for getting out and doing something with her. That's always an important thing. Pardon me, not Betty, Mary. So thanks for that, and uh, turn it back to you, Dan, and have a very good week if I don't. All right, very good, Jack. Well, thanks for joining in this evening, and again, thanks for running the net on the last couple of weeks there. Very much appreciated. And with that, uh, brings me back to the bottom of my list. It's funny how that thing keeps uh, creeping up on me. Anyone else wishing to check in, any stations anywhere, uh, please call Victor Echo 3 Bravo Fox with the uh, C4FM Cross Canada Weekly Net. Uh, there was somebody there, but I didn't quite catch it. Uh, it went by my screen here really quickly on the digital side. Uh, try it again, please. One more call. Any uh, stations uh, wishing to check in to the net, uh, please call in now. Green, I'm not sure if that's quite the right call. It was sort of, looked like a repeater locally here. I thought I saw a VE7REF, which is um, um, uh, Ted's repeater, but uh, maybe somebody uh, was tripping over the frequency. I'm not sure. Any stations wishing to check in, please call now. Well, not hearing anyone, um, we'll shut the net down for this evening. 21 check-ins, uh, plus myself, so it's a pretty good turnout for a summer evening. I uh, wish everyone a happy Canada Day, and uh, thanks for checking in with me. And uh, look for us again next week. We're here every, every week from uh, at 9 Eastern, uh, 100 Zulu. Uh, and again, thanks for checking in. This is Victor Echo 3 Bravo Fox, uh, returning the uh, frequencies, repeaters, uh, and notes back to regular amateur use. 73 off.